Guys, I have a playlist or a series called The Daughters of Single Mothers. And I have well over 200 videos in that series where you guys can go down in the description box right now and view every last one of those videos. And those videos mainly pertain to how women treat their daughters okay i got a sons of single mothers as well but today we're talking about women and their daughters now i get up here day in and day out and i talk about women's accountability i talk about masculinity and i talk about the relationship between man and woman when it comes to black people i do believe that the higher powers that be, which is the government, uh, mainly the Democratic Party, had manipulated our people to just go against each other on some Willie Lynch type shit. But it goes deeper than that because we perpetuate this ideology of single motherhood and masculinity not being in these children's lives. And... In that playlist, I literally give you example after example after example how women treat their daughters. Not only just treat their daughters wrong, they put their daughters out at a young age, 15, 16. I done seen so many videos where women are just putting their child out to the wolves of the world. And the child to come back to them. But they'll come back pregnant from a pookie. And then they'll bring the child back. The little girl back. And say you know I'm not going to take care of that child. You are. You went out there and you, you was fast. But you kicked her out. You didn't. You gave up on your daughter. You know. And they will go back and forth in the house. And then you know the mother will have a boyfriend. And the boyfriend would typically start touching that little girl before getting put out the house or that's the reason she got put out the house right and you know the mother would believe the boyfriend we got videos of the mother just flat out saying you're lying to the girl that said i got <sighs> inappropriately touched by your boyfriend back in the day true or not you still supposed to investigate it as a mother but what if you put your daughter up to this? What if you tell your daughter this happened when it didn't happen? Hmm. I never really talked about this on the channel, which this video will be going into that um, playlist, Daughters of Single Mothers, because I came across a video that you guys probably seen in the last couple of days on your timeline. And um, I talked about it on a live that I did the other day, but I, I felt I had to do its own individual video for this. But this woman, she's sitting there telling her daughter in front of the guy or her boyfriend or whoever that is. But he's he's recording her. But this ratchet ass bitch is telling her daughter that. This man touched you, didn't he? And the daughter is saying, no, no, no. Say, yes, he did. You hate him. We hate him. You don't believe me? Check it out for yourself. This is a man that fuck with you. Rico, he's mean and you don't like him. Did I do that? You don't fuck with him. Did I do that? Do you hear me? He touched you? Yes, he did. Didn't he? Yep. No, I what didn't. I fucking thought. Look at you, so. <laughs> you got your own camera. The little girl is saying no. Clearly saying no. Clearly saying no. I don't know if y'all can see it. See? Y'all see that? She's saying no. No. Did he touch you? No. I do that? Do you hear me? He touched you? Yes, no. he did. Didn't he? Yep. No, I. And he's and he's filming, you know. Now I don't know if he touched her or not, but from what we can see from this 20-minute clip, one would say he he's innocent in my eyes. From this clip, I think he's innocent. 
The thing is, women, innocent or not, you bring this around your child. That child is going to be <sighs> traumatized, man. Show y'all a picture. Show y'all a picture real quick. Keep this picture. That picture is of me and a little girl that um, they used to be in my life way back in the day, man, almost 20 years ago, right? A little girl is like 19 or 20 right now. And um, her mother was that mother. You know, her mother was that mother. Her mother put me before her and I got on her about that shit. And then, you know, when we didn't work out, I, I couldn't see the kid no more. I couldn't see the kid no more. She used to talk shit to the kid about me, you know. But I still love that little girl. I talk to her every once in a while. She's my stepdaughter's age as well, you know, because I met um, my wife a little bit after I um, was messing with her mother. But um, this is just messed up. And I hope this guy keeps this video well. This is all around. <laughs> like, he, if anything goes on in court, he can just show this video, you know. But it's a lot of cases like this. And... I think we should start bringing these cases to the forefront. I think we should start investigating these cases and sending them to the police. For real. Find out who these women are. Let's start finding. I get a lot of comments, especially on that video of that woman um, just basically saying she called the CPS on her boyfriend because she thought he was, che he was cheating on her. So she called CPS, lied about getting hit, about him doing something to the children so they can go investigate him. Somebody was like, you know, somebody need to literally turn this woman in. This, these, and men, I'm blaming ourselves for this because we are not doing enough. Fuck that. We are not doing enough. These women, these these LGBT, they get out. And I understand that you feel that you can't do nothing. But, man, we need to start rallying together. And stop arguing over BS here on YouTube. On who channel the biggest, who this, who that. Nah, man. The thing is, we're, we're, we're getting this from these women on a daily basis. We need to start bullshitting with ourselves. We need to start pulling up some um, petitions or something. Because I'm tired of this, man. We need to start some type of coalition. We need to start some type of network on YouTube. We have too many big channels from um, O'Shea and all of them. We have too many channels to where... One channel like myself should get shadow banned or any other channel is on, on a low low who's speaking the same fight, who, who who's taking on the same fight. We all should lift each other. I swear, once I do get at that level, I try. I'm I, I'm trying to lift the little man now. And I did a video or um interview with these guys, man. Um, And they brought me on to their platform. They have no subscribers. They have no views. You see, they are the agreeably disagreeable podcast. Y'all go down. Please make sure I'll put the link in the description. Go subscribe to them. The thing is, man, we all need to start networking. We all need to start coming together and, 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 and fighting, really, really fighting instead of just doing YouTube videos. We need to start really fighting, fighting against this. Because other groups are doing it. And if you feel we are or if you feel you are, cool. But don't go in the comment section. That's right now. Whatever, man. Look, that shit right there is going to keep happening until we stand the fuck up and do something about it. That's all I got. Y'all go down in the comment section and tell us what you think of what I just presented and my take man, and my take on what men we need to start doing, man.
Start supporting each other. That's all I got. Y'all, stay unplugged from false narratives.